Namaste everyone and welcome back home to the Tranibus Kitchen in the Los Angeles headquarters. I am Chef Tranibus, aka Jamie London Wahlberg and my pronouns are he, him and I am so excited for this episode. It is season two, episode seven and we are going to bring on shortly special guest Maggie Fromm who is becoming a very good friend and is a mindset coach as well as the founder of Awoke app and we're gonna talk so much about that because I'm obsessed with this community and honored to be a part of it. But before we even go there, we have a lot of stuff happening here. I did some prep because we are going to set this oven right now. Why? Because we are making a casserole which is going to be an incredibly simple and delicious dish. We are doing a sweet purple potato casserole. So we're using orange sweet potatoes that we have here. We're using an entire orange sweet potato. We are using these gorgeous purple potatoes that are truly super vibrant. And you're gonna notice with all these colors here, we're covering a lot of the upper chakras. It's interesting, I asked my guys, I said, why am I only getting root chakra colored and sacral, <laughs> like oranges and deep reds and like a little bit of yellow and then started to get me these purples. Here is the magic that we are cooking with here. This is Matthew Stockard, Chef Matthew Stockard's series that is done with Pantry. It is the Evo. It has some THC. We're using about three tablespoons. That is going to be six milligrams per a tablespoon, so 18 milligrams per this dish. We are going to be putting these potatoes in here, mixing them up with the oil. After that, we are going to be putting this cream. This is our cream. This is a gluten-free oat milk that we have in here, and we are going to be putting with it some ground black pepper, as well as some ground cayenne pepper, as well as some Himalayan pink rock salt. And we're gonna mix that up. We're going to pour that on top, mix that all together, and then we are going to be putting in some beautiful heirloom tomato. This is one heirloom tomato buried underneath, you can't see uh, yet, is some asparagus. We've got three spears and then we've got our vegan cheeses. We have diet cheese that is mozzarella as well as cheddar. We're gonna put that on top. We are going to bring our tin foil and put it on top, put it in the oven and let it hang out until it's ready to eat. And then we get to top which is really what I want to do, is talk to Maggie, because I could really talk to Maggie all day long. But first, we have to say thank you to Fruit Slabs. Thank you so much for sponsoring. It is a huge privilege to have Fruit Slabs in my kitchen. If you don't know, they are a kosher certified, gluten-free, vegan, uh, no preservatives added, no sugar added, fruit leather. So it's fruit, and it is cannabis. It's the highest of quality. They have CBD, so you can get it around the country, as well as THC, many different flavors. We are using the OG mango, which is one of my favorites. And usually I put this in food, but I wanna show you that honestly, I just love eating them outright. And I really wanna take a moment to connect with them. And for those who have been with us before, you know that now is the time where we build a connection and I send some Reiki to the food, to my plant spirit. And if you are at home and you are medicating and healing or eating or simply sitting there, you are welcome to bask in the unconditional love, the joy and the gratitude that I'm going to send. Thank you to all who have brought this food and abundance and love here for us to enjoy and to bring joy to others. Namaste. Thank you for taking that moment, friends. Let's eat this. Hey, yeah, Steph. Namaste, my friend. I'm so glad that you're here. Hey. Took me a minute. I was like reading that. So, okay. We are officially ready to bring Maggie from on to the stage, I'm spending way too much time on Clubhouse, onto the screen. <laughs> Bringing to the stage. To come into the Tranvis kitchen. So please everyone give a warm welcome to Maggie Fromm. I'm gonna bring you on now. That should go through. Did that go through? Oh, Instagram. There we go. Yes, hello, hello. hello. <laughs> Namaste, Maggie. How are you Namaste. doing? Namaste. I'm wonderful. How are you? 
I'm so well. I'm so happy that we're here. We had quite the divine experience getting this to happen. Oh, and it's already begun because it's frozen. <laughs> oh, there we go. You're back. <laughs> so would you please let everyone know who you are and a little bit about what you do and dive into a oh. little Oh, hold on. We have you frozen on Instagram. I'm going to ash this real quick. Yeah, go. I'm okay right now. <clears throat> welcome, welcome. Let's see. Maggie, it's being it's being retrograde -y, even though we're out of retrograde. Let's bring you back. The Zuckerberg retrograde. <laughs> the Zuckerberg retrograde. I have my friend Rose here who's taking photos for me today. Hey, I'm yes, back. we did it. I don't know what's going on. Can you hear me on the other one? Um, well, no, because I have you really low on the other one, so that way it's okay. not giving a I reason. can't hear you on the other one. Yeah, you shouldn't be able to. Okay. Right. As long as the volume for you is on your laptop is on, but like at the lowest of low, you're good. Okay. But you can, hear, you can hear me now, yeah? I can hear you, yeah. I could hear you on Instagram the whole time. Wow, yeah, so. well. What's funny is that as this was happening, I was literally saying, we had such a divine journey to finally getting to this episode together and then everything froze. I know. But yeah, I'm happy to be here. My name is uh, Maggie Fromm. I am the founder of Awoke App, which is a beautiful community that is all about personal development and spirituality. It's a place to connect with like-minded people, personal development coaches, spiritual healers, you name it, we're there, we're having fun. Um, there's different workshops happening. Um, I'm grateful to have Jamie be a part of that as well. Um, I'm also a life coach, mindset coach. And I recently started offering um, card readings. So I am going out of town tomorrow at like 5.55, very divine flight, very early divine flight. Um, so I'm not going to be cooking today, but I am going to pull some cards whenever Jamie tells me it's time. Um, but I'm here in spirit and I'm definitely going to partake in the medicine. And... I'm, I'm so excited. I can't wait um, to actually, this is going to be the first time that we're enjoying the plant spirit together. So I'm like, I'm pretty, pretty excited about that. So while I'm mixing in here into my uh, oat milk, can you let everyone know and me, actually, I don't think I know what your, what would you say your cannabis story is? How did okay. you come to cannabis? Where did, does spirituality play a role for you? Absolutely, it does now. It did not whenever it first got introduced into my, uh, into my life. So the first time I ever smoked, I was with my sister and her friends and there's this big fair that happens every year um, like outside of my hometown. So we were traveling there, like I'm from Pennsylvania. So we're on this like mountain in this like little S10, like tiny truck with like in the back seat, the two seats like fold down and your knees like face each other. So my sister and I are like facing each other. Her friends like driving like a nutcase. They're like in high school, I'm 14. Anyway, they start smoking. I'm freaking out. I'm like, are we gonna make it over this mountain? What the hell? And my sister's like, you're not getting out of this truck until you hit this. And I was like, okay. <laughs> um, and just a little backstory, like this was a few months prior, our mom actually passed away. So Maggie was in a, you know, kind of a space where she was like, screw it, I'm gonna live my life. And anyway, it was a great experience because and I had these like fresh lungs like you know played basketball my whole life you know the freshest lungs you can imagine so my hit was like <gasps> and I was like popping and they were all like oh my god so we get to the fair now I'm in like the dreamland of like you just got high and now you get to have like funnel cakes and ice cream this is literally so, no one knew. so it was great it was so much fun I loved it <laughs> I, wow, that's a great story. <laughs> it's interesting because there's like some parallels to my <laughs> to what my experience was as well. And so how does your cannabis story, like what would you say your cannabis story is now? What is your relationship with this, the plant spirit? 
Yeah, yeah. So, so really, like since fourteen, you know, I continued to smoke, and in, in college, I pro I smoked a little too much. It actually became a little bit of a vice for me. And when I got into um, a little later in my college career, like in the classes that were kind of more important, I guess you'd say, I stopped smoking because I was like, I need to focus. And then I ended up working at a casino as a marketing director. So I had to quit because, um, you know, I worked there. But actually in college for a little bit, um, I was actually like dealing a little bit. Um, which was kind of fun, but <laughs> long time ago, Instagram. Um, so then when I moved to California, I, it, it was legal here and was reintroduced to it. And I started to use it and meditate. And I found that it really helped me stay grounded and be able to get outside of myself and see different perspectives. So primarily what I use it for now is um, spiritual healing it's just like it's medicine for me so i'll you know i don't do it during the day i'll do it at night like before i'm about ready to go to bed um i'll smoke and and um usually meditate or do some journaling i don't do edibles um or anything else other than the regular flower because that's just i just like the fact that it comes on fast and leaves fast so I'm the lightweight this is what you'll see. I'm a lightweight. And Steph said that she's like, I, um, she said she came, I, her comment disappeared for me, but she was like, oh yeah, I came here to watch you get high Maggie and see what <laughs> vegan casserole looks like. My Latino side is like, what the fuss is this man? <laughs> <laughs> I love it's you not, Steph. Yeah. Also not said, not I've tried MJ twice in my life and never felt anything. I wonder why it affects some people and not others. Oh, we will talk about that. That's a great topic. That is a good question. <laughs> yeah. You know the answer? Yeah. Well, someone, I mean, I'm not a scientist, but I've looked into this to some degree because I actually have someone who um, is in my family and it's like, just like, especially with edibles is like impenetrable. And I like, even I cannot seem to break for itself one time. I was able to actually create an impact. And she's actually someone who like, you know, deserves to be really to medicate because like it was just, it was healing for her. Mm -hmm. um, and it was so difficult. It really has a lot to do with our endocannabinoid systems um, and our digestion. So if, you know, it really depends. Someone who can get high smoking um, may not get high edibles. Someone who gets high on edibles may not, you know, have as much of an experience. I think it also has to do with, are you holding it in? Because there is a proper way, you know, I mean, you know, yeah. I really believe in an all right or all wrong way, but I will say that in order to get an effective experience with smoking something, I feel like there is a right way to pull. To yeah. Have it. Like, well, yeah, have to I don't know it. the wrong way. Like every time I've ever tried to smoke a cigar, I failed. So, you know, don't smoke it like a cigar. It's the opposite. <laughs> yeah, you have to hold it. So at what point are we medicating? Should I have medicated already? Because I have not. You can totally. I have already some medicated and I will be medicating with you again when my hands are not filled with potatoes. But I super need to get this in the oven. So I'm at the point where I'm putting all the cheeses in. And as I said, it was just, you know, mixing it up. This is super easy. It's like a five step process. It's really not expensive. And it's something that a lot of people can enjoy. And again, casseroles. I learned in this search of, you know, I was getting inspiration of what I wanted to do. And all I did was look up the definition of what a casserole was. I was like, what is actually the definition of a casserole? And it's literally anything that's baked in a casserole dish. Well, I just think it's funny that you like, had never heard of a casserole. Like, I guess I'm just like your suburban white chick. It's like, yeah, green bean casserole, that's my shit. No, no. I know what it is. Like I've had green bean casserole. It's probably the only casserole that I've had, you know. Um, but I've never like made one. I've had a you lot know? of casseroles. All right, I'll be back in two seconds. Yeah, go for it. So, um, but we will. We'll medicate together. I want to see it happen, or it didn't happen. What's the saying of that? You know what I mean. I'm not, now I'm. I'm Pixar didn't happen. Yeah, Pixar didn't happen. <laughs> thank, thank you. So yeah, we wrap this up. We're throwing this in the oven. Um, I like to blow it out my window because I don't know. I'm just a nerd. You should, um, you can make a spoof. 
Do you know what a spoof is? <laughs> yeah, I made one of those in college. With, the, with the... they work. Yeah, but I don't have any dryer sheets, That's but it's fine. Answer. Like, if you like, want me to, um, I will because I have a candle going and stuff. I mean, it would be fun. I just want to <laughs> make the vibe with this. Ooh. I know. A rose for Rose. Rose, you want to come on camera and see the rose? Say hi to Rose. This is Rose. Hi, hi Rose. <laughs> um, I'm actually overdue of introducing the both of you. <laughs> so. I love it. I love your name. I have a rose tattoo. All of my tattoos have roses in them. I'm like, they should be. Yeah. As they should be. Look at your nail. Oh, thank you. Yeah, the showcase. Oven light. How does she do anything? Um, <laughs> I have like a really good partner that does a lot of things for me that I can't necessarily do sometimes. Like, opening certain like button your pants. That one I can do, but it does take me a little bit. Oh. If I'm intoxicated, I'll just like slip my jeans off without unbuttoning them. And it's difficult, but like, it's not worth trying. <laughs> 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 but I'm better with them now than without them because it's been like three years of training myself to have longer and longer nails. So now when I don't have them, I'm like, it's like I can't type and stuff. It's bad. <laughs> I would legit be a handicapped person. <laughs> it would be bad. It's a lifestyle you have to adjust to, but I think it's worth it for um, if you really want to be a bimbo. So, <laughs> so well. if you really want that life, like I got to <laughs> manifest some nails. It's also my brand. It's also like the maintenance of it too, like having to go get your nails done every two or three weeks. Like it's self care for sure. I know it is, but I'm bad. I did, I just got my hair cut today. It was two and a half years. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't really. You're, it looks really good. Though. That's how, thank you. I love it. It feels so stayed, good. How did your hair stay that amazing for that long? Two and a half years. I, I cut my hair like every five minutes. And <laughs> all of COVID, um, I didn't blow dry it. I only blow dried it like maybe less than five times all for the past hair. two years because you know I didn't really have any reason to. <laughs> I could just let my hair air dry. But it looks so good. I'm it like, looks amazing. I'm well, happy that you love it. That's what's most important, that you yeah. took that time for you. It feels um, so good, too. Speaking of these periods, do you have, like, a food story that overlaps? Like, how do you enjoy food? I mean, you're on a cooking show, but not everyone enjoys food the way that I enjoy food, per se. <laughs> so, the way that I cook, like, I, I think it's funny. Like, I... um. I don't really follow recipes and my old neighbor, like she's like older, she's um, 65, Susan, shout out to Susan if she should ever see this. Um, she also loved to smoke, <laughs> so we would have so much fun. But she, I would bake with her and I would just like throw in stuff. She's like, no, you need to measure it to the T. I'm like, what? No, you don't. So like every recipe I've ever followed, I'm just like eyeballing it and guessing and just, and it always turned out good. But I've also created things that, like, most of the stuff I make are healthy. I honestly pre eat pretty healthy, like, if I'm cooking. Um, however, like, I have, like, peanut butter cups that I bought for myself that I allow myself one a day, sometimes two, depending on the day. Depending on the Saturday you. is, yeah, you need a treat. <laughs> yeah, I have a sweet tooth, so I love dessert. Dessert I is my like favorite. my little few pieces of dark chocolate every night that make me so happy. Like, mm. yeah, yes, it's self care. I love dessert, like I do. I just some people have that savory tooth. I've got the sweet tooth. What do you guys have? Sweet tooth. Sweet I tooth? have a sweet tooth. I'm not. I unfortunately Dangerous. have like a spicy tooth, but I have a stomach disorder too. So like, yeah. I can't always eat the spicy food that I dream of <laughs> yeah you know what's interesting as I've gotten older and I think it's also a part of like the you know ascension process or whatever like I used to love spicy food when I was younger like growing up like forever in the last three years I'm like I don't I don't eat it anymore like I would add sriracha to like everything and like yeah. that's interesting I mean taste buds do change every True. seven years um, you know, and it's, it's definitely something that is, is, interesting. I have the opposite. Everybody's a sweet tooth. 
Yeah, I'm gonna make you something, Maggie, that's gonna, next week I'm making uh, those protein oat balls that I've been talking about, and I think they're gonna blow your mind and rock your world. Ahead. How many ingredients? You. Depends. Uh, like, I don't like anything that I have to make with a lot of ingredients. Oh, you're not gonna make it, I'm gonna make it, and we're gonna hang out, and you're gonna get to eat them. <laughs> oh, yes, let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> but also, you don't have probably to not <laughs> yeah, no, they're oh, not even hard to make. better. No, I recommend this is a recipe that I'm absolutely recommending to like parents who feel because especially if you don't even if you don't feel comfortable having your kids around something that you might be infusing, you can it's you put that ingredient in this last. So you um, can actually do it and it's super fun because it's it's like a play-doh consistency and uh you know well well And you can well, probably freeze it, you know. Yeah. 100%, but I can't. You can make it in bulk. I, I have been, but I'm, I have zero self-control because they're so good and yeah. they're healthy. And I just, I'm like, but they're so healthy and they're so good. I That's literally awesome. finished, I made, the last ones I made were strawberries and cream. I made 20 of them. I finished them in less than 24 hours. <laughs> wow. Yeah. You were so protein. Yeah, I was so protein. <laughs> right, how much protein in each one? Um. There's cheers. 24. Cheers. 24 and 20 well, It's like, like about what, like maybe 1.25 grams of protein from the protein powder alone, which is okay. an unflavored pea protein. And then there's also, um, of course, like other many other nutrients, right? Because I'm like the base is either peanut butter or almond butter. I, I'm open to other butters. I just haven't tested those yet. Um, Have I, you ever had cashew butter? I love cashew so butter. Good. I haven't tried it for this, but but yeah. now I'm inspired. Maple cashew butter. Yeah. Oh, I never had the maple one. I've just had regular. It it's it's I good that I had to like. Town. I get addicted, you know, so now I'm back to peanut <laughs> butter for a little bit, and then I'll move on to almond butter for a little bit, and then I'll move on to cashew butter for a little bit, and then I'll move, yeah, I, I, I rotate through my butters. Sunflower but butter. But I don't do cookie butter cookie anymore. Have you ever had cookie butter it? from Trader Joe's? Yeah. That, I was addicted to that for a while. They need That's to make a gluten-free version of that. Yes. Because I, I miss it. In college, I was addicted to Nutella. I had I had it in my nightstand because I had roommates that would eat it. It's just mostly <laughs> chocolate, though. I'm gonna make it. I'm gonna make a really healthy version of that. Nutella? <gasps> yeah, I'm gonna do it. All the things, everything that we're talking about, I'm interested in absolutely making it. Um, so moving on, I <laughs> um, would love for us to dive into a woke, which like I'm obviously obsessed with, and I. The amount of stars that aligned in order for this connection to happen and for you to channel in this beautiful purpose that you chose, I'm like, I get emotional when I really sit and think about it. What does it feel like for you to, to really have come to this? And now it's really coming to fruition. Like we've passed, I think, 100 coaches now. Um, they're not, that's just members in the community. So not all our coaches, but yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna see where we're at now. Yeah, it feels awesome. It doesn't feel real at the same time. Like, I don't know, I guess like whenever I never, I'm glad that we're having this live because I'm realizing like, yeah, you know what? Like, this is awesome. Let's see here. 108 now. That's awesome. <laughs> what a divine number. <laughs> a totally divine number. And still yeah. many of you who are watching who are not in the community already should reach out to Maggie and join because let me tell you something. I'm blown away. This is not like a typical community. Like allow this to be my live to, ooh, sorry, God, sorry, Rose. <laughs> I just asked on Rose's hand, hold on. It was um, cold to ask, so we're good. Okay, we're good, okay, good. Um, <laughs> you guys okay over there? Yep. <laughs> um, you know, a live testimonial of like what Awoke has already done for my life. And I don't, like how long has it been even? I don't even know. So, God. July, maybe I think July I started it. I wonder if I can find out on here. Time is so weird, Jamie, that I don't know. <laughs> Especially since the pandemic. What? Well, like Awoke has been happening, you know, but having the Mighty Network is what I'm looking at. Did we really? Was that long ago? We met in July? Yeah, I, yeah. 
Oh, time is weird. I didn't know I was supposed to have all this information. Oh my God. That, no, you weren't supposed to have all this information. I'm just like, <laughs> asking you. I, by the way, full disclosure, people, I, I never, right now. I never tell my guests what I'm going to ask them, except for the first two questions. So they never know what's coming. Um, <laughs> so they can be authentic. Yeah, I, I wouldn't have looked at the questions anyway, to be honest. I like to wing things. Yes. But yeah, so I don't know. Yeah, because it was like, it was sometime this summer. Amazing. I mean, okay, so maybe maybe it was the fall. I don't know, but either way, we were we were definitely connected in July for sure, one hundred percent. Okay. So since July, which is really not a long amount of time, right? What I have gotten is a new community of people who, when I was at my lowest of low, losing my mind with COVID, showed up for me at all hours and surrounded me with love and all the things that I absolutely needed. It's the place where we get to network and connect with other heart-centered individuals who actually want to make a difference, and we get to empower and support each other. It's a ton of fun. Um, the amazing angel who introduced both myself and Maggie is, of course, Unconditional Self-Love Path Goddess, uh, also known as Jessica. And um, ultimately, like we have so much fun doing these monthly channeled art parties, and there's just so much there. If you are wondering where your tribe is, it's a click away. <laughs> really, if you click resonate away. with this frequency, <laughs> come see <laughs> us. Come hang out. Yeah. Next week is perfect because ne next week is the networking event on Wednesday at noon Pacific. So the <laughs> Conscious Change Makers networking event Wednesday the sixteenth at noon. The link um, to sign up for Awoke is in the link in my bio. And you should be following Maggie and at Awoke Community. And also you're on Facebook as Awoke, right? Or yeah, Awoke. but I don't do anything on there. You I... Sorry. <laughs> I'm on TikTok, but that's pretty much just me. I'm trying. I'm going to get the social media manager to help out. So you... if anyone. Put it out there into the universe. Yeah. Somebody. Oh. <laughs> Rose, Rose, actually, that's true. Rose, well, this is part of why I wanted to introduce the book to you, actually, is because Rose does that. <laughs> so, Yay! Um, Perfect, so, Rose. Please reach out to me. Yeah. Awesome. Well, we'll, we'll make it happen. We'll, we'll get the, uh, the official connection. So in terms of what are you most excited about with Awoke for this coming year? I mean, we're fresh into the year, total new energy, all this directness. All these solar flares, you know, 2022, yeah. so much is possible. What are you most excited about? I'm most excited about the people, always. Like, the connections that we have, the events that we have. And I am excited about putting on a virtual event and an in-person event this year. So those are my goals. Virtual event, I'm looking at April. I gotta get I gotta get my shit together, but we're gonna do it. And the proceeds are gonna go to this amazing organization called Operation Underground Railroad. And they rescue kids that are in sex trafficking and they're just doing incredible work. And I'm super like passionate. Like when I found out about this organization, I was like, I wanna do something. So we're gonna be putting on an amazing event. Jamie will be a part of it. And we're figuring out details, but it'll be in April. And then in the fall, I want to do an in-person one um, out here in Southern California. So I'm very excited about that. But I am most excited about the amazing people like you that I get to connect with on a weekly basis that literally just, like, make my heart so full. Like, I don't know what, like, my life would be so lame if I didn't have the Awoke community. Really. Like, I... Oh, yeah. it. You're, you're, you were cool before Awoke, but definitely Awoke is the place to be, honestly. It's like exactly what I was looking for. Like I unfulfilling, I guess is a better word. I look forward to seeing you all and staying connected and, you know, attending different people's events if I can and just like the group chats and yeah, like it's awesome. It's amazing. It's just, it's just awesome. I just love it so much. Um, what are some of the offerings that you've seen in the app that are really just like exciting you the most? You know, not to necessarily, whoop, not to necessarily <laughs> play favorites, um, but you know, just some of the things that are, that have been exciting you that you've gotten to experience that's being offered. Yeah, well, 
I, why don't I just share like upcoming events? Cause they're all pretty exciting. Like, I love, them. I lo like we've got, well, obviously today, this is part of the Awoke community having this. Um, Sunday, Brittany and Steph, who's in the chat, maybe if she hasn't gone to sleep yet, they're doing an event called Discovering Your Worth with Brittany Fontan Fontanez. So um, it's a class that's all about, you know, discover your self-worth. Usually on Mondays we do Clubhouse, um, but I'm going to be traveling. We do the community card pull on Wednesdays. Um, oh, thank you, Steph. Um, on Clubhouse, which has been really fun and really cool to see. Like, I this past um, week, like, I pulled cards with people I've never pulled cards with. Like, it was pretty cool. Um, it was fun. And then um, next Tuesday, so that's next Tuesday is at noon. Did I say that? Tuesdays at noon, community card pull. You're doing Reiki light language on Clubhouse. Wednesday's a networking event. I want to know about this less, let's discuss uh, identities on Clubhouse that you're going to do. And then Sunday, the 20th, Brittany's going to be doing an event called Reparenting the Inner Child. Ah. Uh. Right? I just like, oh, I'm going to go just town. like clutch my chest. <laughs> yeah, every, I, I like, the, the one issue, the only issue that I have within the community is that I want to do everything. And there's only so many hours and, you know, things like, but I'm looking forward to being able to shift even more time very consciously, um, you know, very much guided into a woke. So I'm looking forward to just like experiencing as much as possible because it's amazing and then also on the 22nd we're doing our next channel dark party um and so that's that's free to come uh there? so super recommend it we do it over zoom it is so fun <laughs> we had so much fun last time i think we only had like maybe six people but it was just like very intimate um we we laugh till we cry we cry till we laugh we just chat and channel and share and create it's beautiful so I, I absolutely recommend that people come to that as well. I'm, I'm so glad careful. that you have replays, um, Steph. And I'm hoping actually to make it to to your event. I'm trying to remember when. Yeah, I think that was the one it got moved. But I, I do want to, to get to that event. I want to do all of them. Um, what do you feel like for you has been, in addition to the people what is like the value that you would say that you have received in this and birthing this creation because it's your baby? I know you're frozen, but it will either come back or you can leave and I'll bring you back on. Either is okay. Yeah, it's being, there you go. The joys of live streaming. Yes, I'll bring you back on, don't worry about it. This happens all the time it's instagram really it's like not letting me click accept there we Matter? go yes we're good <laughs> i don't know what happened my internet maybe it honestly this happens so much on instagram it's, the it's servers are overloaded probably yeah, it, 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 it's only instagram that i have basically this issue with so. but i go live like once a week with um my friend and we pull cards for like 40 minutes Never. Who knows? I do, what I will say is we do have an absolute trend. Whenever I bring in any of my friends that are spiritual and we are like going in deep and channeling and speaking mm -hmm. truth, everything goes wrong. Right. Like every, wrong. Everything, it just, it free, my eye freeze, everyone freezes, everywhere, we're suddenly in the matrix. <laughs> like, yeah, it's, uh, <laughs> yeah. That's, that's not a coincidence, obviously. <laughs> No, <laughs> but yes, let's, let's pull some cards and um, I'm just shuffling over here because you know, I could we could all we could all I, we could all pull cards actually. It's the first time that I'm actually standing here not cooking something, although I do want to make sure I'm not burning this because I can hear it. <laughs> What's it smell like? Come on, um, I'll it. tell you in just a moment, honestly. I really hadn't been paying it too smells much very cozy. attention. Oh, good, I'm glad. Yeah, I'm still like, I'm also still kind of just getting my smell back. Oh, it smells awesome. Nice. 
Wait, what are the ingredients again? Can you share? Yes, this? we will go over them. Okay, so we're not quite ready. Okay, Steph, love you. Love you, Steph. She said she's going to go to sleep soon. Oh, by the way, just like shout out to Steph, if I may. Like, um, Steph's um, like astro reading was just like incredible uh, for this week. And I highly recommend that everyone go and follow Steph's YouTube. Um, and on Awoke as well. We can follow each other on Awoke. That's also what's fun. So you can like follow people that you want to make sure that you're getting notifications. Um, I was literally like, Steph put it up a couple of days late, but I definitely feel like it was divine because I think what I needed was clarity and confirmation. And literally every single thing that came through was a thousand percent accurate for me. And I was like, this is Dude. exactly what I needed right now. I'm so, telling oh, you Oh, you're still like... here, yes. So this morning, like, or this morning, I mean, earlier in the week, like, she put out, um, you saw the video, so she said, like, um, you need to get, like, all the little things that that voice inside is saying you need to get done, like, get it done at the beginning of the week. So I got so much done in the first two days, because I was like, oh, yeah, she's right, I do need to get shit done, and totally called me out, and it was amazing. I'm also doing her yearly, Steph, we love you, and seriously, she's amazing. We're do I'm doing her yearly um, reading where... She's gone over like every month in such detail. Like, let me just pull up some notes. Cause I literally have like a whole notes of like each month we've done so far um, to look at. And then I put in a reminder in my phone on the first to read it. So I read February's it's like so spot on. The en she's, these are my notes. The energy is all about personal empowerment and embodiment of your personal power. You'll feel confident in a surge to make things happen. She channeled this in what, January, December, I don't remember. Um, you'll get a taste of what it's like. I wrote this in for me, so I'll get a taste of what it's like to be in my power. I'm gonna feel at home in my power, but I need to ask myself, what, what, is, what was holding me back? Why did I have to wait to step into this energy, to step into my power? What was needed to be in place before I gave myself permission? What story was I telling myself? I need to see this and process and release this. I'm happy I'm reading this again because I'm going to come back to this. But anyway, her, I have literally have so many notes. So seriously, I think, Steph, can you let us know in the comments if you're still letting people join that? Because we haven't finished the whole year. And of course, there's replays. But um, anyway, sorry. That no, I'm, no, I'm glad that we, we, we were clearly both passionate about that. <laughs> and Steph's yeah. right here. Steph, if we you want to drop show. your YouTube in the comments, you're more than welcome to do that. Um, yeah. I'm going to grab cards too, because, like, why not? I'm having FOMO. <laughs> take a walk is the card that came out for us. I, I do need to take a here. walk. No. <laughs> <laughs> it's so healing to just go on a walk. Yes, her link is in their bio. Check, check out yeah. Steph. We love her. She's awesome. Soul family. Okay. <laughs> Soul family card, and I'm not surprised. I was like, wait, did I put it back in one? Didn't even remember. Those are so pretty. Can I see if anyone's watching on it, on this other setup I have over here? Um, no. Uh, I don't think we can. Hold on. I think. We, oh my god, I'm on mute. Why am I on mute? I told you I couldn't hear you. <laughs> Have I been on mute the whole time? I think so. Uh, sorry, Facebook and everyone. They must be so pissed. Um, I can see that people are watching. If you Do you see the eyeball in the top sort of left corner, or do I only see that? Um, I don't see that. Let me see. You may not be able to see it, but it's also never accurate. Um, I found, but people can chat in and you'll be able to read. If people comment, you'll be able to see those chats. But people have only been hearing me. <laughs> On there. Well, that's fine. You know what? It's everything is divine. You're really and, exactly. so it's fine. Yeah. Also, um, Namaste Awakening the Magic and um, Fabo. Uh, yes, I, um, it's totally fine because they're going to, I, I take footage from many places. So. It's uh, all right. It's I'm not worried about it. No. <laughs> so, so sorry, go ahead. I was going to show you what cards we got. I was just literally going to put this deck in your face. It, it's a, a Beyond Lumeria deck. For it looks beautiful. Lumerian. It's, it's, it's ridiculously beautiful. 
by Izzy Ivy. But continue. I'd love to. I don't want to. Yeah, the cards yeah, came out for us. Of course, Soul Family came out, which how spot on is that? As we were talking about Awoke. Inward Revolution, the card of Inward Revolution. We are on a journey inward. Rediscovering who we truly are. And the, also this card, Divine Animals, came out. So it may be a new Is that a scarab? What? Is that a scarab? It's like the chat is blocking me from seeing the bottom. It's a lion. Oh, a lion. Wow. From the angle. <laughs> yeah, I couldn't see the bottom of it. That's awesome. Yeah. But it's definitely um, a time to connect with some animals, maybe your pets, or um, if you're able to be around any animals, maybe a good time for that. Where's Jackpot? Oh, he's with my friend because I have such a super early flight that he's going to stay the night with her. So I know it's so weird not having him here. I low key was expecting to see him. <laughs> Which is my way of saying, I really wanted to see him. I know, I'm sorry. But at least he's not tapping around. I mean, that's the best, though. I have so many guests that have animals, and we literally just have show and tell of pet time. And, you know, our inevitably animals jump on the counter or knock things over. Or <laughs> This is real life. This is real life that, that's, you know, happening right now. It um, is. It is. You know. Such funny. a funny real life we have as we talk into these little devices. Do you feel connected to Lumeria? Because I literally had all my decks out and this was the first thing that I was, they were like, grab this. Um, I don't know. I honestly don't know. I feel like it's a probably. <laughs> I would, I would argue that it's a probably. So. I do have a Lumerian court somewhere. And I know it's right there. Do you <laughs> meditate with it? I have before, yeah. I, I just started message. actually yesterday meditating with my crystals again. The cards. <laughs> <laughs> they pick themselves. They pick themselves. <laughs> yep. Wow. So, like, this deck is new to me, and I've literally only seen one of these cards before. This is so wild. So, we have four cards. Everyone will get to see them, but I want to give everyone a good look. There's a lot of codes in here. Honestly, it's becoming, I'm, I've, my soul's been favoring this deck lately. It's, I have to pull from it basically every day. And it's funny because today I actually decided not to pull from it. <laughs> for this moment. <laughs> here, here we are. So I will go mm -hmm. over what four of them are because they're, they're quite large. Um, so we have, it came to me this way. So first we have healing. Mm-hmm. Yep. And the Lumerians are coming from an understanding of what it is to have a human experience and also to have a physical body, but a lighter body. So they understand the healing of the body, mind, the soul, and the subtle bodies. And so this is an opportunity for you to make sure that you're healing the entire aspect of who you are, your, your wholeness. Mm -hmm. We have harmonic flight. This is definitely what's coming through is harmonizing frequencies, frequencies that are in you, the divine masculine, the divine feminine. Feels like and, twin flame to me though, like. Mm -hmm. Very twin flame. I feel like, I mean, it's, it's definitely an infinite intensity and a power. The intimate gaze that they have and that they see one another in one another. Right. Um, is and is powerful and it's you know we are all one we have these energies and when we have this balance we are like looking at our wholeness of our frequency and we are seeing the trueness of who we actually are that's so beautiful jamie thank you oh thank you for for inspiring me i've never pulled cards on the show just for you um <laughs> then we have the heart chakra this one is literally my hand is like shaking. It's vibrating right now from this card. Uh, it's just really powerful. You sort of have to just like really get in there. It's a lotus that's blossoming. Mm -hmm. And so this is your heart chakra opening up, coming into the unconditional love for you and for others. And knowing that when you do this, that this is something that's intrinsically with you and it's an awakening, which is how appropriate because 
Spring is a lot, you know, we're in LA right now, we're having a heat wave for this right? a very unusual time. So hot. I think spring's coming early. And I think that this is a time now that we've just gone direct where people are awakening up and they're opening up to their hearts. And You're right, all the planets are direct. And the season, it is Valentine's season. You know? Yeah. And then I we have radical expansion. Look at this dragon. Beautiful. It's gorgeous. So, I definitely connect with dragon spirit. Me as well. Me as well. So, and this is the rainbow uh, light. That's Metatron. That's Metatron mm -hmm. light right there. And so that is the archangels working divinely with their dragons to give you messages and to help you expand. This is a time to meditate. This is a time to sit with yourself and allow for the full expansion of who you are. Yeah. And I feel like all those connect to the healing card as well like you know you need to open your heart in order to heal it and experience that expansion right 100 so if someone oh that's my timer we're going to check on this so if someone wants to book a reading with you how would they do that just send me a dm and i've got a calendar link in my bio yeah make it so easy you know hit me up so I had two cards come out earlier when I was pulling. And um, we have the Strength card and the Ace of Pentacles. So how amazing are they? Look at the Strength card. Isn't it cool? Doesn't it give you Lyra, Lyra vibe? Yep, totally does. Right? And the Infinity symbol there. I have Lyra in, in me. Oh, me too. Oh, very much so. Um, so yeah, so I think Spirit is really like confirming what those cards kind of said too. Like there's new opportunities coming through, like stay strong as you're going through this process, this healing, this heart healing process. Like the Leo is, Leo rules the strength card. It's all about the heart and being courageously brave from a heart centered space. And I think like, as you do that, and as you step into your personal power, like Steph said, we will be, we are in February, new opportunities abundance are coming in like pentacles are about the physical realm um and we also have the queen of wands so queen of wands literally is like she's stepping into her power like she's following her passion she's following her heart she's a spark she's not afraid like to go after what she wants she's like let's go it's beautiful yeah so that's what we're being this is the light seers tarot I don't have the beautiful. How yeah, many I really like what? How many decks do you have? I don't know. I have like out right now one, two, three, four, five. I have seven out right now. Is your life path seven? Three. Me as well. Really? Mm -hmm. So Steph. Steph, you're also three? Mm-hmm. Yeah, you should be you should Oh no, but you're a different year than me. Yeah. Um, Rose and I are a couple days apart in our birthday, and, I, and now we're trying to think about it. Figure it out. Wait, what year are you wearing? 95. 95. Oh, I suck at math. That's, Me too. Uh, Hold on. We can do this. Yeah, Maggie, I trust you. <laughs> Take this on. We're going to solve this. Here. I'm All right, 1995, and then when were you born? March 24th. Oh, I think I'm a six. Which is, I've always said that 666 is not an evil number. It's a good number, so. Six. Yeah. yeah. Me and Satan are burning. You realize that <laughs> this is a universal year of six. So yeah. it's like. Well, her, her, all of those yeah. add up to 2022. I shit That's you so not. Fun. Yeah. Like if you, if you add 1995 plus mm -hmm. three plus 24. Where am I at? I lost you over here. Lost me where? Never mind. I didn't. I didn't. I just was on the tab. <laughs> I, I love your readings. And I, I do love that group reading. I've never done that before until you were like, yeah, we're going to, you know, all take a few minutes and like meditate on it and pull cards and then I'll read them. And it was like so great because it really opened me up. I was like, I don't know if I like do I I've never done that before. Do I like resonate? With that, and I'm like, of course I resonate with that. Like, it's oh. like, collective, and it's going to be great. And I love it. It's mm -hmm. so fun. Because every person seeing... is going to bring through their own message. And, like, whatever resonates, resonates, right? 
one hundred percent. Oh no, I meant the in terms of like resonating. In terms of like usually, I have people you know connect with their heart space. It's like very much taking a few minutes before I even pull. And so I was like, what would it look like to pull all together? But it's yeah. so, it's so fun, and I think it's incredible how we all pull synchronous synchronistically. It's so true. We do <laughs> always. Always, and they always go in, in alignment. Um, Steph said her life path is, is three. Her birthday is 11, a master number. What's your birthday? Me? Yeah. I'm March 27, and I'm going to be 33, and I'm, I'm the oldest of three, and yes. everyone on my dad's side of the family has three children, and um, <laughs> what else was there? I've discovered a lot of very strange things recently that, like, line up with three, but... Three has been a number that's been massive in my life, my entire life, and way before I knew anything about numerology. In fact, ironically, I'm, I'm really, math is not my strong suit. And I've actually have like traumatic memories of like being in school and trying to do math and getting bullied and being upset. Wow. And, and so it took me a long time when people were like, no, 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 it's like numerology, you're gonna love it. It's not like about, really about the math. Like you will just, you will resonate. And the moment that I found out that my life path number was three, that was it. I was like, okay. Yeah. Yep. Everything aligns. Everything aligns. Because I'm also a manifesting generator, which you are a generator? I'm just a generator. And uh, you know my birthday is February 27th? No. Huh? So just... what's funny is that two and seven equal 11, or never mind that. <laughs> 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 I'm not okay. I'm not okay. I see you. Oh my god, you can't even the things that have happened on this show when people get really like you have to also remember that the show now is an hour. The show used to be like two to three hours. And I just want you to think about how high people can get right in the kitchen when they're cooking for wow. food. Really, really medicated. <laughs> so. Steph said she's she just turned 33 and she's the oldest too. <laughs> Happy birthday! That's awesome. I'm she turning 32, birthday. so I don't know. Yeah, I was gonna say I don't know if that's a good thing, but then the Ace of Wands flew out when I was about to say that, so it is gonna be a good thing. It's gonna be a great thing. That's a beautiful car, right? Is that pretty? Yeah, we got we got we already medicated. It's beautiful. It's very activating. What is in the, is it like a net that's? I honestly, this is, I just got this deck. Yeah, it looks like a net. Yeah, it looks like a net. Wow. Over like a flame in her mind. That's beautiful. Yeah. I know, I just got, I just got it, but I'm really vibing with it. Like I really, like, you know how you like, like I actually have some decks I want to give you or at least see if you want. So when I, when we meet up, I'm going to bring you some because I thought about like, I would love you know, that. Some, but the, the Knight of Cups did kind of fly out there. So who knows? There could be some love messages coming in. Hey, hey he's kind of cute. I hate them. <laughs> <laughs> What'd you say? I said, I don't, I don't hate them. I've been very much um, like not remotely focused on that throughout the pandemic at all. I just, I just can't. I'm so focused on my transformation and all these different things that I just don't feel ready. And, you know, it's like, yeah. It's the season. Everyone's talking to me about it. Jamie, are you dating? Da 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 da. Like, leave me alone. I'm dating myself. <laughs> right. You know, yeah. I'm, I'm loving myself and it feels good to do me for, for a while. And it's healthy. It's what we have to do. I'm in the same space. I have not been all of the pandemic, that's for sure. But um, like, over the last couple of months, it's like, yeah, like, I'm like not focused on it. I'm all focused on me and what I'm creating. And men have just been a distraction for me, so. Um, they distract me. Steph said, oh my God, <laughs> those love messages are for me. Yeah. Well, guess what, Steph? At the bottom of the deck, we have the king of wands. So is he a fire sign? Oh, that's he said awesome. she's starting to open up to relationships and working through my ish and putting, putting it out there. We'll get this. I just had a guy jump in my DMs um, who is a fire sign. But what's weirder is... I'm a Pisces sun, a Leo rising, and an Aries moon. He's a Leo sun, a Pisces rising, and an Aries moon. How fucking weird is that? 
So anyway, but who knows? He's my master teacher though, because you know I've learned so, I've been getting like little uh, relationship triggers from the past coming up, just even communicating with someone. So I'm like, I don't care if it ends right now. I'm learning so much and healing so much within me. It's awesome. It's awesome. So whatever happens, happens. It's so cool to like let go of attachment and let like, let it be whatever it's supposed to be, you know? Well, let's, let's talk about that. I mean, you have really stepped up with your Instagram videos. Like, I mean, I, TikTok and I are not so much friends, so I'm always watching your videos on Instagram. They are so inspiring, always on point. Attachment, I feel, has been a big theme, and I know it's a big theme in my life and has been coming up a lot. What is it that you want potential clients to know when working with you that they can how they can get supported and empowered within um, releasing and, and letting go of dependent codependency and having attachment even just to things. Like my big thing is uh, attachment to results. Um, mm. Like I'm really attempt, like get in the loving process of giving myself grace around that. Yeah, so like getting results. So if you didn't get results, like what, what does that mean? You. For me, not getting results is um, typically it's about like not see, not having things happen the way I was hoping. It doesn't really matter if, about the process. Like I'm all mm -hmm. about the process. Bring me all over the place. So if but things like, don't go to the the way that you think that they're gonna go, like what does that make you? Does that make you like a failure or like like what comes up? I th yeah, I feel like it used to more so failure but now it's more so like disappointment and just sad and I can just get depressed because I I can't stop creating this <laughs> manifesting generator and I can't stop loving is who yeah. I am and I just put so, so much I have a question for you like can you allow that in your body like just by saying like say to yourself like I'm allowed to feel like a failure mm. I'm allowed to feel like a failure, like letting, letting your body know, I'm allowed to disappoint people, mm. you know? Say it to yourself. I'm sorry, what was that? Say it to yourself, I'm like I, I allow, I, I allow, I'm allowed to be a failure. I'm Say that to yourself. To I'm allowed to be a And failure. let it go and just accept it. Cause by doing that, by letting that like part of you know, who is like an inner child version of you, know that it's okay. Um, you can let it free. And I learned this through Kyle Cease, like just like last week, he, he was doing a talk about this. And I was like, wow, that's freeing. So I've literally been like, like even last night, I turned my phone on, um, I turned my phone on airplane mode because I wanted to just shut off, right? And, you know, have some journaling time. So as I did that, I was noticing, you know, as I was like meditating, I was noticing that I wanted to check my phone, right? Mm -hmm. And I could feel this urge to want to check my phone, right? So I'm looking at it, I'm like, okay, well, what, what is this? Oh, it's the fear, and I have like notes here I'm reading. It's the fear of getting a mess message from someone and not responding. Okay, well, what does that mean? It, and I wrote down all these things. It means that they'll be mad at me. It means that I'm not a good friend. You know, um, I, I, basically I came to the point of like people pleasing, not wanting to disappoint. So I was writing here, it's okay for me to disappoint people. I give myself permission to disappoint people. I allow myself to disappoint others because it's like, it's not like I'm purposely gonna go out trying to disappoint people, but it's like just letting my, stop shaming myself for feeling some type of way, you know? Um, but it was really cool to like kind of get to this. And like, I was writing down all the fears that were coming up around like me wanting to check my phone, literally just from something that silly. Like, and I thought this was really interesting, you know, uh, fear of not responding, the fear of missing out, the fear of being unloved, the fear of being forgotten, wanting to know what's going on, which I was like, this is interesting. So I stemmed out from that. And I was like, why is what's going on on my phone? What's going on is me sitting in my bed, fucking living my life and breathing right now. So that alone was like, yeah. So anyway, 
I'm starting to do, I did a little daily vlog today on Awoke. Like I went live like right before this and I think I'm going to do it every day except for I'm going out of town and kind of share these like little aha moments that I have just to help others. Like, you know, like, I don't know. Do you think that's helpful? Yes, especially because Steph also agrees it's helpful. Definitely been there. It used to be so hard for me not to respond to all the people who would comment on my Facebook post. 100%. 100%. In fact, I've like been going through this program this week and I'm like ready to let go of like so much of social media. I'd rather put my energy into look and other and other places where people are actually like receiving my value. Ah uh, yes, Brandy. Oops, Brandy, did I forget to tell you that Maggie was my guest this week? <laughs> I might have. That's Brandy Culver. Really? Oh, you changed your name. I was like, welcome Shiloh Divine Rainbow. I like your handle name. Different account. Got it, got it. Also, also we're, we're almost ready. I think I think we're ready to play. Um, I just sent an awoke email out. Sorry, it was kind of last minute. You know, it's been a rough week. Um, well, page of Cups, so maybe there is some love coming in, Steph. Keep that heart open. But I'm telling you, if even if you're talking to someone, there's so much opportunity for healing and like, it's really, it's really cool. I'm really, I'm really taking advantage of it. King of Wands, Ace of Swords, Three of Pentacles. Good things. <gasps> Looks so good. Oh, how pretty. Right? It's a chakra love puddle. <laughs> I don't have all of them. Well, no, I don't technically have red, sort of. The heirloom tomato that ended up arriving was more so like an orangey, greenish, yellow. Um, I... Maybe A for effort. Oh, no, you know what? Uh, I put cayenne pepper. That's right. Therefore, I got every chakra in here. Boom. Yes, you did. Oh, no, I didn't. I didn't get blue in here. Oh, I was going to say, if not, just like. Your blue lighter's blue sitting right there. there. My blue lighter is sitting right here. Thank you, Rose. That you know, great. like, they, you, there's like a flame that starts your How oven, you and the grow? flame <laughs> has blue in it. Yes, the <laughs> flame has blue. So it was already just like. It was also, just... flames are like rainbow, right? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, they are. They're all gay. Yes. <laughs> all right, let's see here how this turned out. So this has about 18 milligrams of THC in it so that you can have a proper portion and, like, also do other things and not feel necessarily overloaded. Like you, I'm actually lightweight. A lot of people think that they mm. – a lot of people assume that I'm not. I know I am. I'm, I mean, maybe not to your degree, but yeah, certainly – I'm a much bigger lightweight than a lot of people think I am. I, I'm, I, even though I medicate frequently, because most of the time I'm using whole flour, like you, yeah. it's short lived. But um, I usually like my, I, I smoke usually microdose. Like it's only show days really that I'm usually like heavily medicated. But edibles, I'm a total lightweight. I'm a heavyweight as fuck. I know. <laughs> she says I'm a heavyweight. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Brandy said you did tell her about about us coming on. I think that's what she meant by you did. Wait, what? Brandy said that um, she just said you did. So I think. Oh, I did. Oh, great. <laughs> <laughs> then I did my part. We have angelic assistance with us, divine guidance and loving support. So call on your angels, call on whoever you resonate with. <laughs> I Steph. love that. I'm sorry, I was just laughing because I, I was know. reading Steph's comments simultaneously. Yes, Steph, I would love to come and cook for you. Where do you, I don't remember, where do you, whereabouts are you? She's Steph? in, she's in Peru. She's in Lima. Oh my gosh. Whoa, Amazing. how did I not know that? That's so cool. Oh my God, I have so many questions. I, <laughs> Steph, I've got to have you on the show. I was going to say, you got to have Steph on the show. I don't know if she'll partake in the medicine or not, but. Which is, which is which is okay. I think it's yeah. also, it's also important to me to be able to bring people on who have had experiences with cannabis or are like strictly against it. Like I want to show different views. You know, right. Yeah. Are, if yeah. people are view is a good one. Mm -hmm, to come and have you know uh, an adult conversation, and I'm happy to have them have a different opinion and experience because they have a different endocannabinoid system than me. Right. Who am I to say? Exactly. I'm not, I'm not here to dictate anything. Every, That's your beautiful physical vessel, not mine. Everybody's physical. unique, right? So here we go. We're 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 plated. What do you think? 
So it's potatoes and beets and stuff? Oh, yes. I'm sorry. I promised I would tell you what was in here. So um, the recipe is so easy. I feel like you would do, I feel like you would do this. You would, you would, I think lot, you would It looked like a lot of chopping. It was not that much chopping. <laughs> We're going to work on this with you. Um, <laughs> or I don't like to use the word work. We're going to love through this um, and collaborate. Um, so it is one sweet purple potato, which is what the purple is, and then one sweet potato, about half a cup of gluten-free oat milk, um, one heirloom tomato, about a half a cup of each of the cheeses, which are vegan diet cheeses, uh, probably about like half a tablespoon. So like I don't, I channel in recipes and I don't actually do anything exact. So these are all approximate. That I resonated when you were like, I don't do recipes. I'm like, that's what I teach. No, um, <laughs> right? Um, about probably like a half a, to a tablespoon, probably, of Italian rock salt. Uh, three tablespoons. The one thing I do measure is the cannabis. That's important. Um, dosing's important. Three um, t tablespoons of Chef Matt's Evo is that 18 milligrams. Then uh, about a tablespoon of black pepper, three asparagus spears, uh, three dashes of cinnamon and three dashes of cayenne pepper that's it and then all you do is mix it all together put it in the dish put the cheese on cover it and put it in the oven you could do this yeah it's just cheesy potatoes basically yeah yeah but it's technically casserole is in a casserole dish apparently that's like yeah <clears throat> that says it's meditated to the top, casserole dish and suddenly it was a casserole and not a stew and i was like well okay <laughs> sure <laughs> <laughs> the chef insisted. <laughs> what do you think? Is it good? It is good. Yeah. It's cozy. It is good. It because, tastes like fall. Yeah, it does. The spice is really great. I just feel really great looking at it. It's really pretty. It feels healthy. It's like just the right amount of cheese. I like that some of them are like really kind of cooked, so cooked through they're like melted, but some of them are like just a little bit more crunchy. Mm -hmm. And it's just like, it's a vibe. I love it. I love it so much. That's that it's meditative to chop. I'm going to try that. Mm -hmm. That outlook. You know what I do sniping things? I love chopping things. Me too. <laughs> I'm like worried I'll hurt myself, but. Um, I will teach you how to do it without hurting yourself. Yeah. So when I was uh, four, I actually, I don't know if you can see the scar here on my thumb. Um, see that scar? Oh my God, I have one. See what that? did you do? So when I was like four, <laughs> I was trying to cut an orange with a butter knife and it went. Oh yeah. You and There's I. 13 stitches. Okay, do you want to hear, this is the synchronicity, ready? I was a little bit older, so you frankly have a much better excuse than me. But like the patient and like much less impulsive Aries that I am now is I have so many scars on my hand, but that one in my oh hand was the one I should have gotten I on. I can't even notice that. Yeah. <laughs> never been they but all went away. <laughs> I was 10. I went through this really interesting phase where I was obsessed with grapefruit. I was also in basketball season. And my mom... You played never, basketball? I did play basketball, yes. That I Before all this, I wanted to be a pro WNBA player. And I took all what sorts position? of camps. Hmm? What position? What position did you play? How long did so, you play? I played guard. I'm short. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you I were short. My, That's why. My, um, up through to I think the first half of my junior year of high school. That's awesome. But we like, should play basketball. I would love to play basketball. I will make a fool of myself. I haven't played in a long time, but I'm Me so down. Me well, I have no shame. I have a basketball, and I have a basketball hoop where I live. There you go. Come to Long Beach. Let's do it. I don't go out there and play, though, hardly at all. I've only done it, like, twice. So, anyway. Steph said she has a scar near there, too. We're, like, triplets. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, oh, so let me finish the story. So, my mom cut the first grapefruit. I ate it. My siblings are about five years younger than me, so they were really little, and they're twins. So, imagine impulsive little Jamie, and then <laughs> she's trying out the twins. Well, I wanted another grapefruit. She said, wait, and her child, Aries, said, you said what? <laughs> <laughs> and I went, and, just, and I had, like, when I was 10 was when I got into cooking. So I was like, I'm just going to go cut this. 
I used a huge knife. It was very sharp and it cut literally just sliced right through and cut me to the bone. And I was just, it was horrible. The ambulance had actually come to me because of how bad it was. Oh my and God. And guess who was out the rest of that season and was really pissed. <laughs> wow. Yeah. I mean, yeah. now you can hardly tell. I I don't think actually anybody's even but, ever been. But it. it's just shocking to me that you still cook and cut things in the kitchen. Like you do this as like your job. Maggie, look at this one. This, I have trauma? No. What happened this, there? This is an interesting story. <laughs> this is actually probably the most I've ever hurt myself, arguably, because, I mean, other than the stitches. But I was much older when this happened. I was probably, yep, I was 14. It was my first official professional job. I was working for this place called Stand Your Only. Was allowed, they let me do a lot of things that, like, technically at that age, you weren't really mm -hmm. supposed to be doing in the kitchen because I'd been training in professional cooking camps for summers years before. So I was like, you know, uh, whatchamacallit, what's that junior, that competition show? Master Chef Junior? Yeah, Master Chef Junior, which didn't exist back then, but that but was if like, it fucking did. That, yeah, if, that, if it did, I would have <laughs> been on that show. Wow. So um, oh. ultimately, you know, I'm again, short. At the time I was even shorter. I'm 5'4 now. At that time I was probably like 5'2, maybe 5'3 like on a good day. And I was making, that's when um, the South Beach diet was like a big trend. And so literally my job every day was to make these quiches. And so I, they were all full though. And so they had me put them in the top rack. And I'm like, are you kidding people? Like I'm the shortest person in the kitchen. Why am I using the top rack? Well, I couldn't wait. <laughs> I took it out. It hit me right here. I got a second degree burn. I was so adrenaline pumped that I don't even like really remember anything other that it happened and that I was laughing. Mm -hmm. um, and things would have been fine, except that my cat at the time, Popcorn, he, um, I adopted, I rescued him. And unfortunately they had like abused him and they, um, you know, declawed him. And like, so he jumped off of me and, you know, just for his protection, he, launched his back claws out and he scratched over it and that's it so i learned that basically um i'm not a doctor this is not medical advice but if you get a second degree burn and then you have an animal scratch it that it's there that's that's on your body now wow. <laughs> that sounds so painful oh no steph I cut yeah. my arm really bad when I was like four or five and have a light scar, which I'm in the process of disappearing. Then I cut my hand oof, near the base of the thumb. Oh. Oh, I, really I remember like, I could see this bone. Like I, like I could see it. Like I was in shock. Like I remember like I, it happened and I saw the blood and my mom was on the phone, which is why I temp attempted to cut the orange anyway. And I just went up to her and I was like this and she was just like, <laughs> freaked out and like wrapped me up and then like took me to the hospital but it took four doctors with a board on my back to hold yes. me down while they stitched oh, me yes. up. Yes, okay, that is such a thing. Freaking I out. This, and they had to put me in a straight jacket because I was kicking all of the doctors. Yeah. I was not having it. <laughs> no. Oh, I was hard. like, I still, I still can feel the thread go through. Mm. I still can feel it. You were four. I mean, that's when people remember things. Another synchronicity, you and I, our first memories are medical trauma. I was in the hospital dying of pneumonia when I was four for 10 days. I was also in the hospital when I was like two or three, but I don't remember. It's like a suppressed memory. Which is funny that the inner child healing card came out and this is uh, 1,000 times. And we also have Open Your Heart with Archangel Michael. Archangel that. Hanuel, Inner Child Healing, and Archangel Michael, Open Your Heart. Oh, you're shaking. <laughs> Sorry, my boy cat is knocking into the, into the thing because they want food. Um, of course. I am so happy that I had you. We definitely need to have you back. This was like never long oh, enough conversation with you. I hope that you had fun. And next time, hopefully, maybe we can do in person together and cook together. How's that for compliment? That would be awesome. So we'll, we'll do that. Um, please let everyone know, you know, what links you want them to know about, refresh them on any of the things that you want them to know about Awoke, and make sure that you're all following Maggie so that way you can get in touch with this beautiful community. Yeah. 
So you can follow me at Maggie.from. Um, you can follow the Woke community, which I'm working on getting their Instagram back up. But the, in their Instagram, the Instagram doesn't matter. Join the community. It's free. Come, ch come join us. Um, AwokeApp.com. The link is in my bio. And yeah, that's the only website I think you need to know about. Link in my bio is going to have that info. So I thank you so much, Jamie. This was so much fun. I really enjoyed it. I'm so glad that you had a good time. This is really what it's about. It's, it's a very important thing to me that my guests have a fun time on the show and that, you know, we have the opportunity to create the space for you to share your story. And I appreciate your vulnerability and for pulling cards and for just being you. I Thank you. you. Thank okay. you for being you. And it was nice to meet you, uh, Steph, right? Or Rose. Rose. Mm -hmm. Hi. Nice yes. to meet you. You will, you will get officially connected. Yeah. Um, Rose needs to come to the Awoke community. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Come on. I come join us. We have a networking event this coming Wednesday, the 16th, um, which is a great way to meet new people. So please, if you want to join, um, sign up. Do. I'm glad that you had fun, Steph, and stayed up past your bedtime. Yeah, um, me too. All coming together. I didn't process some out here in Peru, but I have like a trillion questions for you um, another time. Thank you so much, everyone who came to engage, and I hope you all had fun and learned something. Next week, we will be coming back, and there's going to be laughs because I have an actual comedian, entertainer, writer, Joy Michael, who is a dear friend of mine, coming in, and we are going to be making a whole bunch of really fancy protein oat balls that I am so stoked about. And it's just gonna be a great time. So make sure that you're here for the Trandis Kitchen pre-show, 6 p.m. Pacific, uh, 8 p.m. Central Time, 9 p.m., yeah, wait, 6, yes, 9 p.m. Eastern Time. And then we'll be back here for the show at seven. So thank you so much again, Maggie, sending you so much love and light. Namaste, loving to Namaste. all of you. See you all next time. Thank you, bye, Jamie. Bye. bye.